Sharp Four, one of our favourite enslavement colours. I give you the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team for 2012. It's the Magnificent Seven. It's the Rarrows! by Red One, squadron leader Jim Turner. They're pulling up in 4G and he's called them into seven arrow formation. The aircraft now close up to be about eight feet apart as they form one big red arrow a mile above us in the sky. the team there forming shuttle formation. Those four aircraft on the wings are now dropping back to be a beam Red 6's aircraft directly behind the leader. In this position further back they still fly references from that lead aircraft and just trust that the jet only eight feet away is in the correct place. From your right hand side this is the shuttle roll. He's a former Tornado F3 pilot and Hawk flying instructor and flew operationally in Iraq and as the commander of the air defence flight in the Falkland Islands. As the smoke comes off the wings and straighten to form flanker. Those outside pilots must anticipate their inputs to keep the wings straight so they use the cadence in Red One's command. The team will now form Phoenix for an emotional part of this year's routine. When they present Phoenix crowd front, Reds 4 and 5 on the outside of the formation will smoke red to remember our lost friends and colleagues, Flight Lieutenant John Egging and Flight Lieutenant Sean Cunningham, who were both tragically killed in separate accidents last year. In Phoenix now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our memorial bend for Eggman and Sean. Remembrance this year, in fact, last week saw the unveiling of the memorial to the Royal Air Force and Commonwealth Air Crew from Bomber Command who lost their lives during World War II. The memorial in Green Park in London honours the 55,573 young men who, all as volunteers and an average age of only 22, lost their lives for our freedom. So, now in Vixen formation, from your right hand side with some red, white, and blue, this is our tribute to the personnel of Bomber Command. The aircraft there climbing to 2,500 feet above us at 400 miles an hour. eventually joined the Royal New Zealand Air Force. He transferred to the Royal Air Force in 2002 and became a Hawk flying instructor and Harrier GR9 pilot. With the smoke on now, the team are forming our largest formation shape, which is Concorde. Those four aircraft on the wings now drop back to be directly abeam Red 7 at the rear of the formation. So in this bend, this is Concorde. Martin Hurt. Hurt is another former Hawk flying instructor 
and was the solo Hawkins Way pilot in 2006. More recently, he's been flying the Harrier GR9 and flew operationally over Afghanistan. With the smoke on now, the team are reforming that shuttle formation that you saw at the start of the show. They're going to roll out 45 degrees to our left to get your cameras ready for a great photo opportunity. Roll back, and this is Eagle. That's the command for the team to move back into Seven Arrow. I mentioned before about a monumentous year for the UK. Today's a great British sporting day with the Formula One at Silverstone and Andy Murray playing in the Wimbledon final. So a bit of red, white and blue for some British patriotism. And I can tell you now that Andy Murray is 6-4 down in the second set. Immediately to the left of the leader as we look tail on is Red 3, a flight lieutenant, Mike Charles. He's another of our first year pilots and another former Hawk flying instructor and was the solo Hawk display pilot in 2007. More recently he's been flying the Typhoon, the Royal Air Force's newest fighter, where his duties were on quick reaction alert, protecting the airspace of both the UK and the Falkland Islands. Out to your right you can see the team have formed a diamond. With seven aircraft, we call this short diamond, and this is the short diamond roll. comes on, this is the detonator. Turning away from us at 6G or six times the force of gravity and everything in their bodies weighs six times more than normal so they're working physically hard to strain against those G-forces. As they roll up towards us again, this is the Cyclone. Look to your left, 
for Enid as they approach for the first of their second half manoeuvres. The inside pilots perform tight back stroll rolls to the outside of the formation as they fire the rollbacks. complete their rollbacks and position to the right we need to look directly to the front for the synchro pair red seven smoke turns blue and he pitches down to fly the vortex on the right is now descending at over 400 miles an hour back down to 100 feet above the runway and this is synchro flying the double rolls in a formation we call Big Five. As they enter that left-hand turn, they're flying a manoeuvre called a quarter clover, which will see that loop twisted through 90 degrees. And here's the good bit, ladies and gentlemen. This is the vertical break. Left and right again now for the synchro pair. This time red six on the right and red seven on the left. Closing at 800 miles an hour. They're going to cross three times at 360 degree 60 turn in the carousel. Once again, slingshot to the front. We need to look right 45 degrees for Enid in battle formation. With red, white and blue, this is the Python. for the synchro pair. Unfortunately we couldn't fly the heart this afternoon so we get another vortex.
opening. This is the opposition barrel roll. smoke turns red, he pitches up to draw the symbol for infinity around the rest of the formation. This is the infinity break. We are the Royal Air Force aerobatic team, the Red Arrows. It's been a pleasure to entertain you and it's an honour to represent our service and our country. Squad leader Michael Ing and the Red Arrows, thank you very much indeed. Always from the Reds, a polished and uh, wonderful display. The organisers of the Royal International Air Tattoo have taken appropriate security measures to ensure your safety whilst at fair for today. However, we need your assistance. I would ask that you keep your voice up along at all times. If you do see a piece of baggage, it has been left unattended. Please tell the member of our staff for a police officer. And hello to Jill, Barry and Mark, good friends of mine, and all the guys at Squadron Prince. Everyone should go and check their stand out. That's from uh, Mark Russo. Plenty of time for you still to head down to the Cold War Zone at the far right-hand end of the display area, where Avro Vulcan X-558 can be found along with the Vulcan Village merchandising area.